Bro, tell me why I wake up, right? Because I'm about to record an anime clash video. You know what I'm saying? I saw Watch K players. I was like, yo, let me let me try against that nice little algorithm real quickly. But um, no cap. The original title for this video was going to be was anime clash worth the hype. But then I saw the game was still closed. I said still because the game closed around yesterday around like 8 p.m. I saw the game close and I was like, OK, um, they're probably doing a few bug fixes. You know what I'm saying? They're about to release it like an hour or so. I'm going to just go to sleep, uh, come back and play the game hopefully but then to my surprise i see that the game is still closed right now so i checked the discord and i'm greeted with the entire discord being closed and if your game discord is closed that that can mean so many things but this this means that shit did not go well at all and then i check general and the first message i see is this i'm not going to lie i'm very disappointed on how everything turned out the game shouldn't have been rushed and we should have been patient but instead we decided to test the amount of what we could have done in such a short time and look where that took us complete failure on release all the youtubers and media influencers that posted about the game saying it's ass or it's grand kaizen levels of scamming i understand what they mean even if it meant lower ccu we should have delayed instead of talking big and promising things but at the end of the day i thank you guys for even giving me this chance you made it possible in the first place with all this hate came people that genuinely cared for the game and that supported us even through it all we can do now is fix it without taking everything you did for us for granted and approve upon it i sincerely apologize for how the game came out and i slacked at the end after working hard but even that wasn't my best and hopefully these upcoming days slash weeks makes up for that thank you okay oh my god bro i will never understand why devs delay all the testing stress testing to the very last minute of release like that shit never ends well bro let's just let's just talk about this bro X Games hey, mode. Oh my God, no way, yeah, yeah. Anime Clash, in summary, is a wave tower defense game where you pick units and place them down as you watch them defend your territory. It's a simple concept yet so engaging to players. Not me though. I've never liked games like these, but you know what I'm saying? Everybody has their likes and dislikes. I actually still play Arcane Odyssey and I think it's honestly amazing. You might say that the game is terrible and honestly, you're just fucking retarded. But I meant to say is, you know, everybody has their dislikes and likes and that's just how it is. But after the recent takedown of Anime Adventures, a lot of people actually lost their favorite game. Anime Clash came into the picture and it looked like it was supposed to be the next anime adventures and everybody was hyped for its release praying it would give them the same vibes but that didn't exactly happen. Anime Clash's official release trailer came out February 15th, which was three days ago. It showcased what the game was going to be like and showed a few units. This trailer would go on to get around 200k views within two days. The same day the game was open to AFK and get gems. However, people joined to get an exclusive unit that was never going to be attainable again. The chances of getting this unit was actually 0.5 and right there, the devs actually created Candy Cane. If you played Grand Piece Online, you will actually understand that reference. February 16th, the game had around 40,000 players sitting there AFK waiting for its official release and hoping to get the exclusive unit. And then February 17th, the game grew from 40,000 players to then 100,000 players and all of them were sitting there AFK collecting gems. At around 6.30 p.m., the game would be open to the public and players rushed in excited to play. But after around two hours, the game would be shut down because of the overwhelming amount of bugs there were. The entire game felt quote unquote rushed as if there was little to no testing at all players began to realize they spent three days leaving the computer on only to play for two hours and now that brings us to this situation i'm not going to lie whoever waited that long afking for that units or even the gems and coins y'all got straight up finessed um i know the devs made a huge bag off y'all too just from the premium payouts but let's actually talk about the big question why did anime clash feel so rushed from my perspective it kind of looks like everything was just in a work of progress like some of the settings were still in a work of progress like I'm not sure how that happens. How is one of the core settings still in a work of progress, bro? Like, I don't know, bro. This entire situation is just, it, it's just mind boggling to see. I, I don't even know, bro. I just, I just have no words at all, dude. Like, this, this is just crazy. Like, actually, it's just crazy. 